Hello everyone! Have you ever heard someone say that humans aren't really mammals? We are actually different from all animals. All organisms on the planet can adapt instinctively, finding balance in their ecosystem and living in harmony. But humans behave differently. If we find a piece of land, we reproduce and use all the resources until there's nothing left. To survive, we need to find new territories and again use all available resources. As you see, humans behave like a virus. Do you see where we're going? Yes, we decided to follow the trend and compare humans to the coronavirus. Everyone is panicking about the COVID-2019, but let's look at all this from another point of view, because we really are very similar to this virus. Let's start from the beginning. We talk about the coronavirus in the singular form, but in fact, there are many coronaviruses out there. There are different variations of this virus, but only COVID-2019 became a threat to everyone around. It's like talking about different nationalities. How many different nationalities are there in the world? Lots of them, just like with the coronavirus. The coronavirus is a psycho killer that destroys whole species. Remind you of anyone? Do you remember that image about the great white shark and the most dangerous creature on the planet? Well, humans have exterminated a huge number of animals around the world. For real. And why? We keep killing animals for fun or for pleasure. For some people, it's hunting, and for others, it's fishing. But how is it different from killing? Moreover, there are even more silly reasons, like killing rare and endangered animals for their fur or their unusual meat. This is the result of our arrogance. And this, as weird as it may sound, is another thing that we have in common with the coronavirus. Some people consider this disease to be the king of viruses, or the virus with a crown. And people very often behave that they are better than other animals, right? Many people live like that. Many people believe that man is the king of beasts, and that our interests and desires are more important than anything just because we are stronger or cleverer than other animals on the planet. Funnily enough, the coronavirus comes from animals. Scientists believe that it comes from bats or maybe snakes. People in China eat these animals all the time, and the first outbreak of the disease took place there. What do we mean? Just remember Darwin's theory. Where do humans come from? From monkeys, right? There you go. Just like the coronavirus, we come from other animals. But let's look at the bright side, and it's again related to other animals. Just like humans, the coronavirus loves pets. As you know, most people love cats and dogs, and many have them at home. Well, the coronavirus likes them too, so you don't have to worry about them. It's not gonna harm your pets. Nor children, for that matter. Yeah, it's good news. Children almost don't suffer from this virus. In general, it attacks people age 40 and more. Even if a pregnant woman gets the virus, it won't affect the newborn child. And we should also talk about the fact that the coronavirus loves traveling. If we imagine the coronavirus as a thinking organism, we'll see that its dream, apart from infecting everyone around, is traveling around the world. And that's exactly what it is doing right now. It's trying to get even to the most remote places of the planet, even though people don't want to let it in. Many people online keep talking about the coronavirus, making things worse and creating panic around. Hopefully, we managed to cheer you up with this video and tell you something new about the virus. Tell us if you know any interesting facts about the coronavirus. The best comment might inspire our next video. And don't forget to give us a like. This was True Story. See you next week.